As usual, we have all code readings. We have 132 code. We're gonna have everything integrated related to the fault. We can see this is the ending intake error mass flow rate, and this is a specific for the model by the manufacturers. We don't have generic codes as in other softwares. We can go to the uh, freeze frame data. We can see additional information related to this fault. Priority, uh, date and hour of last occurrence, and the system state. We can also dive into the components of the fault. We can see uh, which component is related to this fault. It's the air mass flow sensor that's given the fault. We can also check information about the component, operational data, some of the tables of the voltages, that mean torques, uh, pinouts, so you can have a guidance on the electrical diagram. We can go straight to the ECM connections. We just choose a particular series model to access that computer. We're going to be having um, all the electrical connections, power supplies. We also have got pinouts related to this particular uh, computer and ECM. This is great for uh, those um, technical departments that might be able to check all these uh, microprocessors, uh, transistors and pinouts related to the fault that might lead to a um, modification on the wireless connection of the computer. We've got light monitoring. We've got system display. If we want to check fuel consumption rates, if we can see some of the measurements into these uh, electronic diesel um, measurements and components, we're going to be seeing live monitorings from the injectors. We can see the fuel vapors canister. We can see the electronic diesel pump. And we've got also uh, some of the ratings related to the system. We can also do some live data selection. We can filter out by particular sensors uh, willing to be measured. We can choose, let's say, injector measuring rail pressure, EGR pressure sensor, or boost pressure. We can see ending oil pressure, and we can go to these gotchas so we can see some system displays and get some live monitorings. At the same time, the system will be detecting if any uh, measurement it's out of range. We will be having some alerts, a little bell over here, whenever we are getting wrong readings, okay? We can also check some graphics. We can standardize a range of time. It could be a minute or three minutes, and we can have an idea if we have any um, any uh, measurement that could be out of range, okay? also got uh, some of the special functions, system checks, we can perform cylinder cutout tests, so we can cut out fuel supply on specific cylinders, uh, a series of initial conditions, we've got references, uh, we also have um, the way the cylinders are working and performing on this engine, uh, more technical information, after, before doing the test, we're getting a series of initial conditions to check if everything is good. Remember that the system won't let us do any special or advanced function in terms of configuring the system if we're having any fault codes uh, at the moment we are doing the test, okay? Perfect. So we can set parameters. We can display parameters. We've got um, injector codification, injector coatings. Um, whenever we replace an injector, we must do calibrations. This is Im most important to do. Okay. Doing some tests into the injectors and cylinders. We have the injector coating. This is a more advanced configuration part. So we are needing to access to the expert mode. Okay. Kind of tricky and technical information. This is great for the team. Some of the maintenance we can perform to the machine. We can dig into the force regions. 
We can check states. We can see technical information in this process. Some of the series of temperatures and initial conditions to perform. The force regenerations and calibrations. We can see some particular filter regeneration state, force regen switch, parking brake, ball throttle position. We've got all those technical inputs.